it's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm really excited for today's Iceland product to show you. This is the collaboration with Harry Ramstons. It's the four battered jumbo pork sausages. Now the reason why I'm so excited by this is whenever I go to the chip shop I generally have a sausage and batter covered in curry sauce with chips. That's my go-to thing. But in the supermarket You've never really been, you have, but it's never been like a big brand. A big brand has never really come out with a jumbo sausage and batter up until now. Up until now. So, I've got the oven preheated. Let's get this package open. Exclusive to Iceland. There they are, straight in the box. No plastic packaging, which is really good. Now, are they, they are, look. Look at that, that it looks like a proper jumbo sausage and batter. So, oven tray, goes in for 25 minutes, gas Mac 5. I'll be back when it's cooked. Right, the jumbo sausage and batter from Iceland is ready, let's get it out the oven. this oh right fold it again pick it up again always use a um, I always use a tea towel I'm a tea towel type of guy when it comes to cooking there it is you can see look at the end it's come out the end a little bit little bit of fat in the pan you can come to expect that it's a jumbo sausage in batter. It's, it's supposed to be full of grease, I suppose. Now I can show you it properly. It, it's, we've got a bit of a burst end. You know when it bursts out the top? And there's not a lot you can do about it. Look at that. Uh, nice batter. It looks fair play now. Fair play to this. Now, again, it's one of those things. If you go to a supermarket you'll be hard pressed to find a jumbo sausage you know the old chip shop jumbo sausages that are just quite frankly fabulous you can't seem to buy them in supermarkets now you can look it's got that lovely chip shop sausage look to it let's cut it in half and So the batter batter's really crunchy, crispy. Sausage is pale. Now I will say one thing. Now I don't know if anybody else has worked this one out or has seen the change in a jumbo sausage and a jumbo sausage and batter over recent years. But when I was growing up as a kid, jumbo sausages used to be pink in the middle, like bright pink. They're not anymore. They're this kind of pasty gray color, whereas they used to be pink. And I don't know why that is. Now, I just don't know why it is. I, you can start guessing, but I don't think there's much point in guessing because you just never really get a right answer, will you? Anyway, let's let's take a bite of this. I'm dying to get into this. Ooh, boiling hot. It's okay. It's okay. Now what I can see from the sausage is the batter has already been pre-cooked and it has to be. 
for it to stick on. I mean, can you imagine that you open them up and they're all wet? Wet, soaking wet batter everywhere. You're never going to get the fresh chip chop batter taste because it's been blasted in an oven for 25 minutes and the batter's already cooked so you're really just crisping it up and that's what we have here the batter is really kind of just crisped up you can hear the crunch so it's more of a this is more of a batter you would find on cod but oven cooked cod not like your breadcrumb your breadcrumb oven baked batter that, that, that goes in the oven A little bite on my lip there. Did you see it? Did you see me wince a little bit? <laughs> the sausage is quite fatty. It's quite flavoursome though. It wants to fall apart a bit. Generally it's pretty decent. I think I've worked out why <clears throat> up until now it's been rather difficult to buy a jumbo sausage and batter on the supermarket shelf when they sell in their millions in the fish and chip shops. I think it's just quite a difficult process to get right. This Harry Ramsden's brand have uh, done a pretty I've made a pretty good fist of it. They've made a really good fist of it. But if you want a proper sausage and batter, fresh from the fish and chip shop, this doesn't touch it. This doesn't touch it. But, but, on the other hand, I'm quite glad there's three more in my freezer. Because if I had a few beers, and I got a bit peckish, then... It's not bad to open the freezer door and just chuck something in the oven. So I'm ready to rate it. Your jumbo sausage and batter from Harry Ramston's. Quite greasy, quite fatty, quite satisfying. Sausage is pretty good. Batter's a bit of a letdown, but it's very difficult to replicate the batter from a fish and chip shop. You know, they dunk them in wet batter, the sausage, and then chuck them in the fryer. There's nothing quite like that. It's rather nice, isn't it? Same with the cod. Dunk the cod in the batter, chuck it in the fryer. Nothing quite like it. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Relail Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.